Hi, my name is Martin from Octo Inkjet, and I'm just going to be showing you how to open up the original fill hole in a Canon um, original cartridge. Now, this is a CLI 8, um, physically identical to a CLI 42 in terms of shape and size, um, but the same rules apply to um, a PGI 520, CLI 521, 526, you name it. Um, so, <clears throat> the same premises are. Um, basically apply to each. Now then, I'm just going to bring this in closer to the camera. You will see just above the push part, um, I've got that upside down for you guys, right, now then, just above the push part, you can see if I angle the cartridge slightly, you can see there is a, a little circular indent just about here. Come on, focus, there you go, just above push. That's where the fill hole is. So what I'm going to do, very sharp blade here, obviously be very careful, make sure it's clean. If you're a child, obviously you get your parents to do this. You could be on standby with your first aid kit. Right, and what you want to do is just remove this little hole, this little bit of the label. See the little bit of ink. You don't want to scrape the outside of the hole. All you want to do is basically cut the label away. Right. So you can now see in there the little plastic ball. Now, my preferred method for doing this is to use an awl, which is why we provide one with our kits. You may choose to use something different. Some people just drill through um, the bowl here and create a little hole. Some people drill and then use a, a tiny little picture hook to screw into it and get it. Um, to be honest with you, my experience is the balls will turn. So as soon as you put anything in there um, and you start twisting it, more often than not the thing turns with it anyway. So this is a tried and tested method for me. Um, being very careful not to stab yourself, you take your awl and you you see it's turning already and you push it in to the plastic as carefully as you can and then just lever it and it takes usually a couple of goes there you go right as I said be careful because obviously if you slip you can stab yourself with a an awl which isn't particularly clever so uh, just take your time be patient is as, as, as mm, just enough pressure to get it in and then just gently lever it out some folks will heat the all over a flame or something like that um, to create you know basically something which goes in easier into the, the plastic if you do do that you get it into the all and then wait let the tip cool down because if you then lever it when you have a hot all chances are you will indent and melt plastic on the cartridge as well and if that happens um, it's not going to be good right so now that we've done that just going to get a combat to clean the hole out with. Cotton buds or Q-tips, whatever you want to call them, really quite useful, perfect size for this kind of thing. So you've got a nice clean hole. Now you can do your refilling and things um, as required. Right, in terms of actually sealing these shut afterwards. Um, for a CLA 8 cartridge we have um, silicon plugs um, with a lip on like this. I'll just hold it out of the camera. Um, and these are perfect frankly for these particular cartridges. So all you do is push that in and that's got a good uh, seal around the hole. Um, you can tell if something's not sealing because um, if you lift it up you'll start seeing ink pouring out here if you filled it up. So that's one option. Um, we also have a um, another type of rear fill, um, sorry, a silicon plug with a little skirt, not quite as big as the other one. It's thinner. Again, that one runs in and plugs things up. Not quite as wide a skirt and somewhat thinner around the top as well, so there's a subtle difference there. If you're using a cartridge in, say, an MG or an MP um, printer, then you're probably going to want something like a, a low profile plug which um, has absolutely no skirt on it at all. You can just see that. There's no lip. 
which means it doesn't protrude out of the hole. It's nice and flush. I'll just show you. It's nice and flush. You can't see it sticking up. That's useful for the MGs and the MPs purely and simply because it means it won't catch on the top of the printer. Uh, inside when the cartridges lift up as part of the, the process. Getting those out is harder. Um, you know, you're kind of reversing. Be careful not to pierce them when you do it. Last option is aluminium tape, which to be honest with you, if you're faffing about, then this is probably perfect. And you just seal it like that. Bit of aluminium tape over the top. Tab it so it's easy to pull off. Um, and then just run it down the side like that. And when you're ready, you can undo it again because I said as you tabbed it like that it's easier to get off and you just pull and this stuff just seals it's brilliant and that's it right my name is Martin from Oxford Jet and I am going to show you how to um, empty oh sorry 